Item number SCP-6995 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures To prevent instances of SCP-6995 from recurring, the Foundation will encourage the legalization and regulation of recreational cannabis throughout the United States via front organizations and covert funding of cannabis legalization initiatives. In the event that SCP-6995 manifests outside the United States in the future, the Foundation will use similar non-anonymous methods to encourage jurisdictions surrounding the manifestation location to legalize and regulate cannabis as well. Foundation agents embedded in the United States cannabis industry are currently monitoring select adult use dispensaries for recurrences of SCP-6995. Any SCP-6995 instances found are to be confiscated prior to sale. A semi-permanent containment team has been assigned to Ontario, Oregon. A semi-permanent containment team has been assigned to Ontario, Oregon due to the high volume of SCP-6995 instances that manifest there. Update. 24th of January, 2021. Any SCP-6995 instances sent to Foundation sites are to be destroyed. Consumption by personnel is prohibited. Description. SCP-6995 is an anonymous strain of cannabis indica that displays anti-memetic properties whenever cultivated or consumed in jurisdictions where the possession, consumption, and or cultivation of recreational cannabis is illegal. SCP-1695 takes the form of any number of retail consumer cannabis products, flour, seeds, edibles, vapor pens, cartridges, etc. Branded as been produced by the company Cannabin Cart Needle. All instances are labeled with the strange flavor name Cannabin Cart Needle OG. No such company is known to exist in any jurisdiction where medical or recreational cannabis is legal, and a physical location, if any, where SCP-6995 instances are produced has yet to be found. When a person consumes an SCP-6995 instance in any jurisdiction where the act is illegal, the SCP-6965 instance and any byproducts of its consumption, e.g. smoke and vapor, will remain entirely undetectable by all observers. Perception of the subject will be altered via anonymous means to exclude SCP-6995 instances, use of non-anonymous smoking materials to consume SCP-6995 instances results in the perception that the subject is consuming tobacco instead. Additionally, SCP-6995 instances display a secondary anti-memetic effect that is active at all times. Said effect renders SCP-6995 instances undetectable under all circumstances. Though the secondary effect is not as precisely measurable as the first, persons with the following traits are known to be susceptible to it. All active members of local, national, and international law enforcement organizations in jurisdictions where recreational cannabis is illegal. Individuals who strongly oppose the legalization and or use of cannabis for recreational purposes. Individuals who find cannabis personally distasteful. Individuals who feel strongly compelled to report all crimes to local law enforcement regardless of severity. SCP-6995 instances manifest at adult use cannabis dispensaries at border jurisdictions where recreational cannabis is illegal. When questioned, employees will claim the products were delivered as part of a recent wholesale purchase but will be unable to recall the details of said purchase. Employees will stock SCP-6995 instances with other similar products, but will display no knowledge of the anomalous properties and will not attempt to compel customers to purchase cannabis needle products in place of other brands. Locations where 
Kennebec Needle branded products have been acquired include Benjamin Washington, 22nd of December, 2014. 3.5 gram dry cannabis flower, first known SCP-6995 instance. Recurrences of SCP-6995 instances at Benjamin dispensaries ceased in October 2015 when adult-use cannabis dispensaries opened in Oregon. Antonito, Colorado, 3rd of April 2016 One gram of one gram concentrated cannabis vapor cartridge. Huntington, Oregon, 31st of March 2018 Five cannabis cookies shaped similar to question marks. West Endeavor, Nevada. 22nd of January, 2020. Cannabis cotton branded glassware used for concentrated cannabis consumption. Dabbing. Non-anomalous when used with cannabis products that are not SCP-6995 instances. Ontario, Oregon. 2019 to present. Numerous instances at all dispensaries in the city. Currently, the location where SCP-6995 instances most frequently manifested. Extensive testing has confirmed that SCP-6995 instances display no anomalous properties besides their anti-memetic capabilities, with THC strength varying from 20 to 30 percent in flower products and 75 to 95 percent in concentrated products. No means have been found to prevent instances of SCP-6985 from recurring aside from the legalization of adult use cannabis cells in jurisdictions that border its manifestation locations. To date, all SCP-6985 instances have ceased to manifest once the dispensaries it appeared in begin to border a jurisdiction where cannabis can be legally purchased. Experimental Data D-237611, U.S. Highway 285, New Mexico, near the Colorado State Line, 24th of May, 2016. Subject is instructed to consume cannabis flower 10 minutes before driving. Subject is then pulled over by police due to tail light that was broken for purposes of experiment. Despite being visibly impaired and smelling strongly of cannabis, subject is treated as sober and fully alert by responding police officer. Successful baseline test. Senior researcher Martinez. Central Park, New York City, New York. Spring to summer 2017. Researcher Martinez cultivates seven cannabis plants derived from SCP-6995 seed instances by the use of Class W nestics. All plants are cultivated in open view and frequently tended to Odor emanating from the plant is only detectable by researcher Martinez, and he is perceived as cultivating non-cannabis plants, despite local prohibitions on personal plant cultivation in Central Park. Observers do not find the activity noteworthy. D991327, Tokyo, Japan, 21st of October, 2018. Subject takes SCP-6995 instances through LAX Airport, in Los Angeles and boards flight to Tokyo, Japan. After arriving, subject openly consumes flower instance of SCP-6995 in the interior of Haneda Airport I mean Ains undetected. Successful International Baseline Test D-432777 Chicago, Illinois 2355 31st of December 2019 to See 100 hours, 5 minutes. 1st of January, 2020. Subject begins consuming SCP-6995 instance before midnight on 31st of December and finishes 5 minutes after midnight on 1st of January when recreational cannabis became legal in Illinois. Researchers are unable to perceive D-432777 from 2335 to 2359, but anomalous properties of SCP-6995 instance cease and subject becomes visible at precisely midnight. Test confirms properties of SCP-6995 directly correlate to the effective date of loss. Addendum 
On the 19th of January 2021, a series of containers branded with the Caliber Cognito logo arrived at four separate Foundation sites via internal mailing networks. Each contained boxed one gram cartridges of concentrated calibers with the logo on the individual boxes replaced with an extended middle finger. Inside each was a note reading to the assholes during our products. Laboratory testing of the cartridges revealed each contained dangerous levels of vitamin E acetate, a cutting agent found in some non-regulated vapor cartridges believed to be the primary cause of vaping associated pulmonary injury, or VAPI, or known instances of SCP-6985 purchased at adult use dispensaries do not contain this alteration. Five cartridges are kept for testing purposes and the remainder were destroyed via incinerator. Containment procedures updated to account for potential chemical cognito shipments to foundation sites.